talk to you about my top five tips on choosing kind when going food shopping. When we enter a store and we're about to spend money on clothes, food, beauty products, cleaning products, we make a series of choices that have an effect on our health, um, the environment, and the animals that we share the planet with. How we approach our shopping and how we spend our money has a powerful effect on the supply and demand chain. We are essentially voting with our dollars and supporting a brand's mission and values when we spend money on their products. It's worth knowing that the companies that we choose to support are in line with our values, right? Would you date someone whose values weren't the same as yours? Would you keep them around? Then why are we keeping in companies who put profit over people, our environment, the animals, our health? Instead, we can choose to support companies who share the same values as ours. And these are my top five tips on how to do so. My first step to shopping kind is reusable grocery bags. You can find these guys at the stores themselves. You can find them online. Um, I collect them everywhere from events and I keep them in the trunk of my car. So the trick is to remember to actually bring them in the store. So more and more people are doing this, which is great because we're eliminating single-use plastic bags at checkout. So kudos to you if you do this. Um, we've actually created a socially acceptable, kind, and encouraged behavior that would have probably looked really weird 10 years ago if people started walking into the grocery store with their own bags. Okay, cool kids, what happened? We remembered to bring our reusable grocery bags to the store, but forgot about all the single-use plastic bags that we tear from the produce section every time we want to put our bananas in there, which already have a cover. Americans alone throw over 100 billion bags a year. 10% uh, of those bags land up in the ocean and are mistaken for food by marine species that normally eat jellyfish, squid, and other animals that resemble a plastic bag and water. Never mind the awful impacts of plastic on our environment, the impacts on our health are extremely terrible. Plastic is made up of chemicals that leach into our food, which then get ingested by us. Over time, these chemicals have been linked to genetic damage, birth defects, hormonal changes in our body. In children, the chemicals can cause harm to their developing immune system. But there's a solution though. Reusable bags are made from polyester. They're eco-friendly and washable. You can find them online on Amazon. Um, one of my favorites is the Barrico brand, and this is what it looks like, the logo. I will place these links below so you can check them out, but this is quite a big bag. It's made from polyester, and it has a drawstring so you can tighten things up. And that makes a, that makes a really huge difference. Um, I've also got these bags. These are the Flip and Tumbles. You can also get them off Amazon, and I've had them for years, they've served me well. And um, they're reusable, and you save a lot of plastic by using these instead. So my third step is choose vegan. Vegan, but I like bacon, I like sushi, I know what you're gonna say. And yeah, sure, I used to like the taste of those things too, until my distaste for violence against animals overrode the taste for their products. So what's really cool is that when I say choose vegan foods, I'm not saying you have to just eat fruits and vegetables. There are really cool meat alternatives, cheese alternatives, dairy, yogurts, ice cream, almost anything that you can think of that currently contains animal products has a vegan version of it. So you can still have a lot of your favorite foods. Most people don't really know what happens to animals that are bred for food, and I don't blame you. They do a really good job of hiding the information from us. But if you'd like to know the truth about an industry that you support with your money, then I really encourage you to take four minutes of your time to watch the video below to get some insight. There are many other reasons to go vegan. For your health, for the animals, for the environment, and for people. There are also many documentaries that you can check out that you can find online or on Netflix. I will post the names of them below so you can check them out in your own time. My fourth step is shop bulk over packaged. Now this is where the cool kids really thrive. Bring in your mason jars, your produce bags, 
bring Tupperwares in and head over to the bulk section of your grocery store if you have one. The bulk section is the solution to pollution havoc. Think of all the spice jars, the spice packets, beans, rice, packaged pasta that you've bought over the days, months, weeks, years. Think of all the plastic that has come with those purchases and all the plastic you can avoid if you shop for those items in the bulk section. This is such a big way you can make a difference. Buy whatever you can in the bulk section, but please remember to try avoid those evil little plastic bags that you put your food in. Bring Tupperwares, mason jars, produce bags, Ziploc bags, anything that you can reuse. I personally use the produce bags that I mentioned in step two. I have rice in this one, and I have some beans in this one. And um, when I get home, I just put them in these mason jars, and that way things remain plastic free. This way you can also buy only what you need and pay for what you're going to use, so it helps save you money. Step five, choose mostly whole plant-based foods. Yes, I mentioned vegan in step three, but this is different. Vegan can mean packaged meats, cheeses, ice creams, cakes, pizzas. I'm talking about choosing kind for you and for your health. I'm not saying don't buy these items, but when it comes to health for you and your family, try make the bulk of your meals come from whole plant-based foods. This means go over that beautiful section where you recognize foods that you would find in nature that don't have ingredient labels lists, that do not have nutritional facts. They are real food. Yes, fruits, vegetables, potatoes, greens, stock up on these babies and reap the benefits of the minerals and the vitamins found in these foods. Other whole plant-based foods can be found in different sections of the store, like rice, beans, quinoa. These will probably be found in your bulk sections or in the other aisles. A whole plant-based food is something that you'd recognize out in nature in its whole form with very minimal processing. Frozen or canned veggies and fruits are fine too. Just check the back to see if they have any added sugar or sodium and try avoid these if possible. If you're wondering why choosing these foods are really important, check out the two awesome documentaries that will inspire you to be the healthiest version of yourself possible. I have an extra tip for y'all. It is do everything with love. Buy what makes you happy for your body, for your soul. These tips shouldn't be daunting. And if they are, do one at a time. Implement one before moving to the other. This should be fun and exciting. You're doing this for yourself and for the environment and you're gonna feel awesome about it. Buy all the colors. If you wanna feel vibrant, buy foods that look vibrant. Love yourself enough to buy the foods that love you back and love the environment. The healthiest foods are foods that don't come in packages. Just because you can't do everything now doesn't mean you shouldn't do something. If you don't feel ready to go vegan, try a few extra plant-based meals in your diet. Try new recipes. Just start integrating plant-based foods into your everyday life. But do it all with love and kindness. Be kind to yourself and don't beat yourself down. Do everything with love and abundance. Thank you all for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you feel like somebody else will benefit from watching it, please share this. Till next time.